think Orlando, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Probably theme parks and mouse ears. Well, not us. We're here for the 2017 AIA Conference on Architecture. I'm Ellen Rogers, and the show floor is alive with crowds of people checking out hundreds of new products. USGNN editor Nick St. Dennis is also here, and we'll be checking in with him a bit later. So make sure and watch to the end, because we're going to have a little fun. Let's get started. We talked with several primary glass manufacturers to hear what's new for both commercial and residential markets. Our newest product uh, that we're showcasing here at AIA would be the Energy Select 23 product. It's primarily a triple silver low E product and it's, and it's designed for the southern climates. 50% visible light transmittance and a .23 solar heat gain product. So it keeps the heat out, keeps the cool in the building. It's got a really, really stunning appearance. It's a nice bluish uh, gray product and uh, it, it really adds a lot to the architectural you know, aesthetics of the building itself. Residentially, you know, we're, we're, we're uh, enhancing our product line with the Comfort Select products. So that's geared to, more towards the residential window uh, and door manufacturers. Also, the homeowners want the daylight into the building, but at the same time, they want to block that solar heat. So it's, it kind of parallels what's going on in the commercial industry. Uh, obviously, lower heating bills, lower cooling bills, depending on which climate you're in. So this year we're really focusing on our Ultra Clear product. It's a, a new low iron substrate that we've launched recently that can be used both on the interiors applications as well as applying our low E coatings to it. A lot of architects are surprised at how clear you can get it now. I think homeowners are looking for, you know, any sort of low E coating that is pretty neutral in appearance, you know, makes it appear just like regular clear glass. However, gives them the energy performance they need to, to hit Energy Star ratings, to work you know, with current standards, and really improve performance on the windows themselves. And that can be from a solar heat gain perspective if you're in a southern climate to U values up in the northern colder climates. We'll be right back after this quick break. Welcome back. This year's AIA show is a special one for Vitro, formerly PPG Glass. They're here with their first glass-only booth. I talked with Rob Struble about some of their newest developments. We're, we're showing SolarBand 90 on Starfire. We're showing SolarBand 90, SolarBand uh, 70XL. Uh, we have we have seven of these large lights as well as a, a glass wall that shows our glass and some of our alliance partners work. On the residential side, we, we sell largely to residential window manufacturers and we had two new product releases this, um, this, this spring. Uh, one is solar band 90 but for residential and that again would be for uh, you know, climates that they're really trying to, the design intends to, to, to limit heat gain. But we also have one for northern climates, it's Sungate 460 and this is designed to meet some of the higher energy star requirements. So, so uh, we have window makers that are starting to use that product to hit those targets. We can't talk about what's hot in architectural glass without mentioning the latest in jumbo sizes. Viracon is one of the only U.S.-based fabricators offering these sizes. In fact, the company recently completed their oversized facility expansion and production has been keeping them busy. When you think about this, this is huge glass. So it's, you know, some people say big, this is really, really large glass. And the format from 130 inches to 236 inches from the historical size that we were comfortable with in the glass industry was 96 inches by 165. So from, from a contact standpoint, we're dealing with really large glass today. Uh, so all the, all the equipment's in, the, the building's done. It was a 300,000 square foot expansion and we got it done through the winter and we're ready to go. We're one day down and just two to go. Nick has joined us here, and like we said earlier, we've decided to have a little fun with the show this year. That's right, we figured we'd walk a lot of these shows, so we've got our fitness trackers on. So we're doing our first ever step challenge at a show. Who will be the winner? Find out in USGNN's final video from the show. If you're here, be sure and visit us in booth 2833. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow.